What we've learned empirically and through uh, many research studies now is that people who have insulin resistance, so metabolic syndrome or type 2 diabetes, do much better when they restrict carbohydrates. In fact, their disease, the process of insulin resistance in the body, uh, manifests itself functionally as a form of carbohydrate intolerance. So intuitively, uh, if you have an intolerance to a nutrient, such as lactose intolerance, uh, gluten intolerance, you avoid that nutrient. And so when we describe a, the condition of insulin resistance as carbohydrate intolerant, uh, I think most people will, will understand that it's, it's very rational then to restrict that nutrient. And in fact, when we do that, uh, we see that many of the features of insulin resistance uh, improve and, and folks uh, respond very favorably to that type of diet. The body differs. It's when we eat, consistently eat carbohydrates. Carbohydrates become the body's first line fuel. That's what the body is expected to burn, in part because we can store very little carbohydrate in our bodies. So if you eat a fair amount every day, that has to go to the front of the line to get burned, which means that fat gets kind of blockaded and put in reserve. That's what extra adipose tissue is, is reserve. And when you restrict carbohydrates, as Jeff said, for a few weeks, the body goes through an adaptation process and now fat becomes the body's first line fuel. And it becomes the body's, in essence, high octane fuel. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes a period of time for that to occur. But what differs is the, 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 the basic fuel flow system of the body. And as Jeff implied, um, from a, a, a evolutionary perspective, you know, whether humans lived as hunters and ate very little carbohydrate or whether they had to go through periods of prolonged fasting in between crops if they were subsistence farmers, there have been periods of time in human history where all of us have been, our, our metabolism had to adapt to a low carb uh, uh, situation and the human physiology is very adaptable to get through that given, as we say, that modest period of time to make the switch from a high carb fuel system to a high fat fuel system. People vary one from another. Some people, the people have diseases or conditions associated with insulin resistance or carbohydrate intolerance have to get quite low in their carbohydrates. It doesn't mean zero carbs. But when we do it in grams per day, you get into a, this ad adapted state. We call it keto adaptation because the body in, starts making ketones when you get low in carbs, under 50 grams a day. But we know people who are very insulin resistant, patients or colleagues of ours, and again, some of our most interesting patients are fellow physicians who are doing low carb, that they have to be under 25 grams of carbohydrate per day to be on a diet that allows them to get into the sustained fuel flow where fat becomes the body's primary fuel. So for one person, it might be 25 grams a day if they're severely insulin resistant. For a person who's a carbohydrate tolerant, then maybe they can eat 100 or so grams of carbohydrate per day, still get the benefits of mod a modest degree of carbohydrate restriction. So there's no one perfect diet for everyone. It really has to be individualized uh, to allow each person to find that, I won't, shouldn't say sweet spot, but I will, sweet spot for them dietarily that lets them feel and function well. When I was in my 20s, 30s, 40s, up to my early 50s, I could tolerate vast amounts of carbohydrate and do just fine. When I passed the age 50 threshold, I started gaining weight in the middle. I started gaining blood pressure. And using all the, the best techniques of, quote, balanced diet, using high fruit and vegetable and, and low saturated fat and lots of dairy, uh, low fat dairy, all the things that are supposed to control blood pressure. My blood pressure was getting to the point where it was dangerous. The only way I got my weight and my blood pressure under control was switching to low carb. I stay under 50 grams per day and have done for close to a decade now.